Okay, let's do this. Today I will show you how you can turn a regular snapshot from your phone into a little bit more dynamic and a little bit more interesting photo like you can see here on the screen. So let's do it. Hey guys, it's Neymar and welcome to another really fun Photoshop tutorial. The photo that you saw in the intro is just a regular snapshot from my iPhone. I was on the mountain uh, making some commercial there and uh, we are riding those uh, snowmobile and just stopped for a moment, took a, sh uh, took a shot, took a photo and that's it. But later we talked about it would be really cool if I can change that photo into more dynamic photo like the snowmobile is actually moving and uh, there is like a motion blur effect, some snow is falling, etc. So let me show you how you can really easily make something like that. Read right, guys, we are here in Photoshop and this is the photo that we will work on today. This is my really good friend, George. He is a DP, director of photography. You can check his details on Instagram on link right there. And uh, this is the photo that I took just by standing there and uh, using my iPhone. So let's change this into a more dynamic, dramatic scene. First of all, you need to think about uh, what you want to achieve and how to go to that place. So I want to create a snowy weather. So here we have a lot of uh, sunny rays and clear sky, obviously. So that is a little bit of the issue. So we need to change that, but it's really quick fix. And before that, what I did here, just to save the time for this tutorial, I already extract the, the model and the snowmobile out of the background. As you can see right here, I made a mask. So it's on a separate layer right here because I can much easier manipulate with uh, everything uh, behind him and the background overall, etc. So you always need to do something like that to extract the main model and to have it on a separate layer. Okay, now because I have the model on a separate layer, I want to do something else. If I go right here on this file and if I put a motion blur here. Let me show you that really quick. I will go to filter blur, radial blur. And here I will go with these settings. I need to change the move the center point a little bit to the left right there. And if I press OK, it's really cool. We already have that motion blur effect. The snowmobile is like moving really fast, etc. But we have one problem. We have this halo effect around snowmobile, around the model, etc. So I don't want that. I want to avoid that. And how to do that? Let's undo it we need to fix the background. So I will control click on the mask to load the snowmobile and the model here, then go to fill, uh, select, modify, expand. And I want to expand it for around 20 or so pixels just to make it a little bit wider, as you can see right there. Okay, and then I can go right here, go to edit, content aware fill, or I can go to just uh, regular content aware with shift and backspace. I can do that. But here, here is what we will get. I can go right there and uh, unzoom this a little bit, move it. And I can say, all right, I don't want this to be affected by these parts here, but everything else is pretty cool. And I can say apply. All right. And press OK. And now the Photoshop will put this on a separate layer, as you can see right there. And let's see, let's see what we got here. Mm, we got these things that I actually don't like, but it's really easy fix. So I will go to this layer, use the clone stamp tool and just go with clone stamp tool, make it a little bit bigger and clone for this and just see, it's really easy fix. And I will now fast forward because I'll just go all around and just clone these parts there. Okay, now that I went all around, maybe I missed a few points here and there, but this is pretty much okay. Uh, the next thing is, just to fix this, the next thing is to get rid of the sun and this blue sky, and it's really easy fix. So I will go and merge these two layers together with Control or Command E into one layer, name it background. Okay, and then I will go right click, convert to smart object just to have opportunity to go back and forth between the thing that I will do now and I will go to filter and camera filter and then I will just go and uh, remove the yellow uh, sun rays from the trees and the bluish part of the sky. So how to do that? 
let's go right down below to the HSL part and I will just go to saturation yellow down orange down and as you can see there is no sun rays there maybe a little bit of the red but mm, there is no much red there and also the blue I will go with the blue a little bit like this but I will go here with the graduated filter put it all the way to the top like this and I will just go with saturation a little bit down mm, or I can delete that I don't want that let's let's go out of this and let's go right there and see if I can manage to yeah I can manage to do it like this okay so here I have white white snow and everything and the uh, sky is pretty much like there is no sun weather day I will press ok go back to my photo and also I need to do the same for the model here so this is model and uh, I will go with hue and saturation adjustment layer clip it to affect only the model and go with yellows down okay and orange and red so here this is pretty much okay and also blue and then I will okay the blue is pretty cool and maybe cyan a little bit yeah okay this looks cool and then I will invert the mask control or command I and just paint it here on the windshield a little bit okay with the white just to get rid of these bluish tones I don't want too much of that bluish tones and this is it also what I can do I can go right there on the photo itself and just clone clone these parts here slowly ah it's not not good but let's get rid of these parts there and also I can go and just with the regular brush select this color and just paint in paint in here maybe not so soft brush but something like this just paint yeah this is cool just paint back this color right there okay if I have more time I would do it a little bit better let's go with this darker part right down below but for the sake of this tutorial I think this is pretty cool and this photo will not be zoomed so much so this is really really cool okay so we started with uh, this and we went all the way to this this is pretty nice now the next step is to add that motion blur to the background it's really simple and easy just go to filter blur and the radial blur as I already did and with by moving this uh, center point blur center as you can see right here you can uh, make it as you want it so it's matter of trial and error see what works the best maybe I can go again double click and move it a little bit down let's see what this will bring to the photo okay this seems pretty cool and maybe just maybe a little bit more here like this let's see mm, yeah maybe I like it better and this is really nice we already have the impression that the snowmobile and the Georgia is really moving really fast and now the next step is to add a snow to emphasize those movements even more and that's really really simple so I will go all the way up create a new layer named snow and just with regular brush maybe 50% 60% something like it, opacity uh, hardness go with uh, brush properties press f5 and go here to brush tip shape spacing all the way up to 1000% shape dynamics size jitter all the way up scattering all the way up and also I want to go with the transfer a little bit around 20 or 25 and now what we have we need to go here to choose white color white brush and here we have a snow it's really nice and convenient it doesn't look so good but trust me it will be really nice so we have one layer of snow then I will go create snow number two and make a brush smaller even smaller okay and just paint just paint the snow all over it just smaller snowflakes here and there and we will do exactly the same thing for the snow we will create that motion blur with a filter blur and radial blur of course you need to go to the zoom option same amount as the background this time eight this is it same for the snow too filter 
and I'll just go here and repeat the filter. It's really, really nice. I really like it. Maybe this note a little bit lower the opacity like this. Also, what we can do, we can create a layer mask, use the regular soft round brush. And if we don't like some of these snowflakes, we can delete them. Also, I can go with 20% and just lower the opacity of a few of them. And this already looks really nice. What bothers me here is that while this snowmobile is moving, we need to have some kind of a debris and uh, the snow around here, uh, this part and this part, and we will fix that really quickly. So first of all, I will create a new layer, name it debris, just below the model layer right here. And for this, I will use my custom made debris brush that you can purchase for just $1 at my website. You have the link down there in the description, or you can make it on your own. I have tutorial on that on the link right here. So I would go right there, use my debris brush, white color, and just like there is, as you can see, some snow parts are coming from down below. Okay, this is one thing maybe here a little bit, let's see, and maybe there, but let's change to a little bit darker color. Okay, something like that. Then I will go to filter blur and motion blur and make some really cool motion blur here uh, from these debris here so let's see do i want more or less it's up to me so i think this looks pretty nice for now let's leave it like this let's lower the opacity maybe a little bit and also i want another layer of snow maybe snow mist or something i don't know how to call it and for this i will use my custom made cloud dust smoke brush again you can purchase the set of these brushes for just one dollar at my website the link is down there in the description or you can just make your own we have the video right there okay so here i will go with this and just make some kind of um, this kind of effect also let's go about the snowmobile the model here Snow on the snow bill, okay. And just I want to go right there and just make some like some snow is happening here. Okay, something like this. And then I will show you a really cool trick. Really, really cool trick how to add additional snow. Here and this is pretty nice so I can do the same here as you can see just with a little bit of the patience like I'm rushing now guys because of the time sake of this tutorial but you can invest more time when you're doing this on your own and this looks pretty nice okay let's see mm, yeah I'm pretty happy with this of course it can be better if you invest more time but I'm pretty really happy with this okay so the next thing what we can do here is to add the snow on the snowmobile and the model here and this is really simple so let's name this snow on a model and how to do that well you'll be surprised how easy it is just use a soft round brush and I will go and clip it to affect only the model here white color okay and just paint, I will go with 100% opacity and I will just paint wherever, wherever I want this to be. Okay, I want snow here and here and, and here. As you can see how simple it is. Just add white, maybe on the face a little bit here. Just a touch. And here. And then somebody can say, ah, it's really hard to add the snow. You can see this is really easy just use a brush and paint and how hard this can be I know that doesn't look so well but you can imagine that this is snow huh? what do you think I know that's crazy right now but if you double click on the layer and go to layer style properties right there and go to blend if blend if is the trick alt or option and click on the black here and just go like this Okay, just go like that and see now it's much better like we have a snow right there then what I like to do is to add a layer mask and remove the parts that I really don't want to be so visible or not so visible but so much 
like snow effect there. Oops, I want it here. But I don't want it on this too much. And this is really cool and easy. So let me show you before and after we have snow. Maybe here is too much. Okay, maybe this is this is pretty cool. I like it. This is pretty cool. Maybe a little bit behind him, a little bit less. Here is pretty cool. And you can play with it. You can create another layer and add even more snow here and there where you want. But see, before and after, really easy to add like a snow there. Okay, the next thing we can we can go with this photo as deep as we want. So the rabbit hole is so deep, but I will not go so much. What I want to do here just to make it a little bit more fun is to go and add those bears. So I just have a photo of those bears. I already extract them out of the background. It's not like a perfect extraction, but it will work here. I will go behind the model and just paste them there. I can make them smaller and I can make them like <laughs> they're chasing the model right here. Or I can bring them, push them all the way back in the background. So, hmm. Let's be smart. Let's make a little bit more fun photo. Let's let's do like this. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Like it's near near the model or they're more further away? Mm, I'm not sure. The perspective is not the perfect between the bears and the ground of the model here, but let's pretend that it's okay. So this is just for an example. Hmm. Here or 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 maybe yeah or maybe somewhere there let's let's make it here like they're running and he is much faster and this is it okay so here where the bears are i want to just fix few things here and there like put the foot in the snow okay like this also i can create a layer below oops layer below the bear layer so this is bear bears and this is shadow shadow and i will put this into multiply blending mode and just sample darker color here and just add a little bit of the shadow from the bears like this just a little bit because it's too bright there okay and we have the shadow from snowmobile here too. So this is really nice. Also what I want to add on the bears because they are slower than snowmobile. They need to have some kind of, let's go to smart object. They need to have some kind of a blur. So I will go again to filter blur and uh, radial blur again. Let's see with the same settings. Mm, too much. Let's go with maybe five. I don't know. Let's see five uh, it's pretty much okay like they're there in the background maybe four maybe four let's see okay let's go with a four and i'm pretty happy with with the current results so let me remind you one more time we went from this actually 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 let's make a copy of this we went from this all the way to this it's completely different scene and it's really, really simple and easy to go with that. So let's just see, I have so much snow here. Mm, I don't want it. So it's really, really simple and easy. What we can do with the bears, we can make them maybe a little bit darker, but mm, they are pretty good. So one more time, this is before, this is after. I pretty much like it. Also, we can uh, add some glow to these lights right there. So I will create a new layer, put it in linear dodge blending mode and use this type of a color, but darker like there and just, just add this kind of a glow and that can be it. Of course we can play with a few more things here and there, but I will stop for this tutorial because it's, this is supposed to be not so long tutorial. It's really fun and easy to create from just a regular phone snapshot from this photo all the way like an action scene. Also what we can do, just one more, one more thing. This is low. I can add a little bit more snow here at the front, just like, just like this. Let's see this. Oops. I want something like this, maybe 
here, maybe here, maybe here. Just a little bit more like snowflakes closer to the camera. And then again go with radial blur filter, but but more. Like 10. Let's see. Yes, and I will lower the opacity a lot. Just to have a little bit of that. So just few like almost subconscious things here and there. Just a few snowflakes. And this is it. Now we can merge everything together with Shift Control Alt or Shift Command Option E on a Mac. Go to filter, camera filter, where it is. It's here. And we can add some color grading, a little bit of color grading here. So we can maybe go with a little bit more, let's see, bluish tone, temperature, maybe a little bit of the contrast, a little bit to open the shadows, but I like to lower the clarity a little bit, but boost the, con uh, the texture. And also I can go and add a little bit of vignette here. So let's see, before and after, yeah, pretty much okay. I'm really happy with the result. With just a few tweaks here and there, you can get completely different photo. If you don't like the bears, you can get rid of the bears. You can put some other animals or whatever you want here. So just one more time, before, really cool sunny day, no snow uh, falling down, no action scene, etc. But with just a few tweaks, we can get really cool action scene photo. Also, we can crop it to 16 by 9 because I love that aspect ratio. And we have something really cool in a matter of few minutes, few 10 minutes or 20 minutes. I don't know how long this tutorial it is, is right now. Okay, so this is basically it, guys. I really hope that you like uh, this tutorial and that you find these tips useful so you can apply it to your own images. Remember, I took this photo with just my phone and you always have your phone with you so you can later tweak uh, the photos on like I did here in Photoshop. Also one pro tip is that when you're taking these type of photos, like I took this photo right here, uh, I have in mind what I want to do later because the model posed like he is riding the snowmobile fast and then that I had in mind that we will add the snow, I didn't have in mind that I will add the bears, but we will, we had in mind different scene there. So that helps a lot later in post-production. Right, if you have any kind of questions regarding to this episode, please leave me down there in the comment section below. I will be glad to answer it. Have fun, experiment with your own images and see you in my next fun episode. Bye-bye.